Hello everyone, this is Rick Durden reporting for AvWeb at Sun and Fun 2014 in Lakeland, Florida. And I'm standing next to the oldest airworthy DC-3 in the world. It's restored by the flagship Detroit Foundation, and we're going to hear a little bit about it from Steve Jacobson, a retired captain for American Airlines and one of the captains on this DC-3. We're standing next to the flagship Detroit, which is the oldest DC-3 still airworthy in the United States. In fact, in the world, not just the United States. It was uh, built in uh, 1937, flew its first trip for American Airlines in uh, March 2nd of 1937, so it just had its 77th birthday. This airplane uh, from March 2nd of 1937 spent 10 years with American Airlines. During World War II, it was uh, a passenger airliner. They carried lots of, uh, of troops and stuff in it, but it was never turned over uh, completely to the military, to the Department of Defense or the War Department at that time. So it flew with the airline. When the war was over, it continued to fly passenger trips. And uh, then it was sold to the Bank of Mexico in uh, 1947. They used it where you use Learjets nowadays. That, this was their corporate airplane back then. It's owned by a private uh, not-for-profit foundation, the flagship Detroit Foundation, which was established just to preserve this airplane and show it to the public, take it around to schools and airports and air show events like that. It, uh, it's, uh, uh, we don't sell rides in the airplane. We sell memberships to the foundation to support the airplane, but we take our foundation members for rides in the airplane, so it's a great way to travel. We bought the airplane from a company that was using it as an insect sprayer that sprayed from mosquitoes and gypsy moths from uh, Virginia to Florida during the season. And uh, they had it totally gutted out. They had tanks inside and spray bars wingtip to wingtip. And uh, when we got it, there was nothing in it. They had a lot of the parts left over. So uh, we took two and a half years putting it back together with a lot of volunteer help uh, from American Airlines maintenance people and uh, volunteer pilots and just people that are interested. Uh, two and a half years later, we have what you see here. The explanation of right side doors on American airplanes, the story we put out is when C.R. Smith convinced Donald Douglas to build the airplane, uh, he wanted the door on the right hand side and he wanted the passenger uh, baggage compartment, the uh, cargo compartment, which is aft, on the opposite side from the door so that the passengers, when they were loading and unloading on the airplane, wouldn't see their bags being loaded and unloaded. We have a website. Uh, it's www.flagshipdetroit.org.